Hello everyone, I'm Alex of Vending Machine Support. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the price on an Automatic Products 121, 122, and 123 snack vending machine. I'm going to show you how to set the price for an individual selection, how to set the price for an entire tray, as well as the entire machine at once. Now, if you found this video useful, I appreciate if you could like and subscribe. If you have any questions, ideas, or comments, please leave them below and make sure you hit that notification bell. Let's get started. The Automatic Products 120 series of snack vending machines that includes the 121, the 122, and the 123 can be a bit confusing to price for the first time vendor. So I'm going to show you how to navigate the menu system to get to the pricing menu and once there, how to navigate the pricing fields. Now I'm going to use this Automatic Products 122 snack vending machine here in this tutorial. And the first thing to do is make sure we have the power on the machine and we're going to open up the main door. Now with the main door open, we'll be focusing our attention on the monetary door. Here we've got two keypads available to us. We have the user's keypad as well as the operator's keypad. Now the operator's keypad is where we're going to use to navigate the menu system and the user's keypad is where we're going to enter in selections and prices. Now once the main door is open, your display should read enter for master menu. If it does not, you are showing some error codes. You are going to want to press the ESC located on the operator's keypad until you have enter for master menu on the display. Once we have enter for master menu on the display, at this point we're going to press the enter key to enter. Now once you press the enter key, you are going to have MIS on the display. Now at this point we're going to be using the left or right arrow keys on the operator keypad to navigate the menu system. The menu system does loop back around so it doesn't matter which direction you go. So I'm going to go ahead and press the right arrow key until I find prices. Now once we have prices shown on the display, we're going to press the enter key to enter. Now once inside the price menu, we have price assignment shown on the display. If I was to press the right or left arrow key, I can navigate to the different options available to us. Here I've got price assignment. If I press the right arrow key again, I have check prices. If I press the right arrow key again, it brings me back to price assignment. Now price assignment is where we are going to go to enter our prices for different selections. So I press the enter key. And here I'm presented with the pricing display. On the pricing display, on the left-hand side, you have item with a number showing of 110 and a blinking cursor. Now, the blinking cursor is what field we are currently in. Now, in the middle is our price field, and on the far right is our product code field. I will not be going over product codes at all in this tutorial, so we are going to omit that. Now, to navigate to the different fields, we'll be using the left or the right arrow keys. Now on automatic product snack machines, you will always want to create the price first, then assign the price to a selection. So currently my cursor is blinking on 110, which is the top shelf left hand side and it currently has a price of 50 cents. So I want to change that. I want to make 110 be a dollar. So first thing to do is I'm going to go ahead and press the right arrow key to bring my cursor over to the price field. Now here I like to press zero to nullify or clear the current price out. So I press zero. Now at this point, I'm going to create that dollar price. So I hit one, zero, zero. Once I have one, zero, zero shown on the display, I'm simply going to move the cursor, left arrow cursor, move the cursor back over to the item field. And then here I key in any selection I want to be at a dollar. So let's say I want to do one, one, zero. I key in one, one, zero. As soon as I enter in the last selection number of that selection, it will get stored in memory. Now, if I want to make any other selection in this machine to be at a dollar, I would simply just key in those selections. Let's go ahead and make 112 a dollar as well. So I key in 112. That's now assigned to a dollar. You don't have to go in any sequential order. You can jump around. For example, I'm going to go down to 160. I'm going to go ahead and hit 160, and that's now set at a dollar. Now, if you wanted to change the price for, let's say, 114, we want it to be at a dollar ten. I would simply move the right arrow key over to the to the cursor into the price field. I will then nullify the price by pressing zero. I create that one one zero or that dollar ten price. Now I move the cursor back over to the item field, and I key in one one four to assign that to a dollar ten price because that's what's showing in the price field. Once that's done, we can now navigate to any other areas of the machine to set those prices to $1.10. Now, we have some shortcuts available to us. 
we can actually price the entire tray at once. So instead of going to each individual selection and signing, we can sign it right at one key press. So let's go ahead and set the price to the second shelf, which starts with 120. Let's set that to $1.25. So the first thing I'll need to do is go ahead and move my cursor over to the price field. Press the right arrow key. Now my cursor is in the price field. I'm going to go ahead and nullify the price by pressing zero. At this point, I'm now going to create my $1.25 price. So I key in 125. And here I'm going to move my cursor key back over to the item field. Now to assign the $1.25 price to a tray, I simply need to put in the machine ID number and the tray number. Now the machine ID number is one. Every single selections machine starts with a one. So that's the machine ID. The next number, which is two for the second shelf or it was a three for the third shelf, I simply key that in. So I hit one for the uh, machine ID and I press two for the shelf number. Now for the selection number, I simply going to press the star key as a wild card. By doing that, I've now assigned a dollar twenty-five to the second shelf here. If I want to do the same thing to another shelf, let's say the third shelf down, I want it to be a dollar twenty-five as well. I simply key in the machine ID number, which is one. I then key in the shelf and then I key in star as my wild card. If I wanted to price the entire machine at once and then go back and do my individual prices, this is how you can do that. So let's say I want to change my mind. I want the entire machine to be at $2. So I need to create that $2 price. So I go ahead and I press the right arrow key, bring my cursor back over to the item field. At this point, I'm going ahead and hit zero to nullify the price. Here, I'm going to go ahead and create that $2 price. Once I have $2 shown on the display, I move my cursor back over to the item field by pressing the left arrow key. And here, I'm going to key in the machine ID, which is one. I'm going to use the wildcard key, which is star, for the shelf number, as well as the selection number. And now everything is set to $2 on this machine. Now, if you wanted to check your work after you've done pricing, you can use the check pricing function for you. To do that, we're going to press the ESC, which brings us out of the price into the top field of price assignment. Here, I'm going to press the right arrow key to move to check prices. Here, I hit enter. And then any selection I key in, it will show me the current price for that selection. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in 120, and that should be showing $2. Here, I have $2 on the display. Now, once you have everything done, you can close the door. And here you'll have your display going back into sales mode. Now, if you found that video useful, I appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. If you have any questions, ideas, or comments, please leave them below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.